Carla Souza chose for her daughter Katerina the same school that she attended when she was young, Basic and Secondary School of Serco, a public school in a difficult neighborhood of Porto. Never mind that she no longer lives there and that this school is at the bottom of the national ranking. It doesn't worry me at all. To me, it's important that my daughters feel good, that they succeed at school and that they do their homework. The school ranking doesn't worry me at all. Katerina studies technological sciences in the 10th grade and benefits from a scholarship that allows her to also study music. Despite what the ranking says, she's very happy there. She says the problem is not the education, but pupils' lack of motivation. Lots of them don't study, don't make an effort. But some have good grades and can go to university to study medicine, engineering, law. The school's director says this lack of motivation has a lot to do with poverty and unemployment among families who don't value education. To him, Portugal's school rankings, which are mainly based on national exam results, just don't make sense. We can't ignore the rankings. Our school is defined by the state as needing priority attention, but we can't compare what is not comparable. For example, when we talk about colleges or private schools, we're clearly talking about radically different things because they select their teachers and their students, and the educational project is tailored for them. At the top of the country's school rankings is a private school, this time in one of Porto's poshest neighborhoods. But even its director doesn't find the rankings relevant. It's unfair to use criteria that are only academic, because students are so much more than that. To compare academic criteria between public and private schools can be unfair. Because let's face it, private schools like ours benefit from favorable conditions for success. Her school offers tailored education where pupils can pursue extracurricular activities and work on a volunteer project. Parents see it as a good investment and students feel privileged to attend it. Yes, definitely, because it also helps me become a better person and all of this will open doors for me in the future. Doors that wouldn't be open if I was in another school. The director of this school says she's educating future leaders.